simplify giving your answer as a single power of 7. So let's start with the first bit. Here it says 7 power 5 into 7 power 6. Here the bases are same and the powers are different. So basically you're supposed to add the powers which is 7 power 5 plus 6 which is 7 power 11. Next part. 7 power 15 divided by 7 power 5. So here again we have the same bases but different powers and we have a division sign in between. So we're going to subtract the powers. So it's 7 power 15 minus 5 which is 7 power 10. Next we have 42 plus 7. 42 plus 7 is 49 which is basically 7 power 2. That's it. Next we have simplify 5x square into 2x power 4, 2xy power 4, whole power 3. So here we are just going to simplify within the bracket first and then we'll open the bracket. So within the bracket you have two numbers here 5 and 2 and you have a multiplication sign in between so that's basically going to be 10 and then you have x square into x which is x cube and then you have a single y power 4 whole power 3. Now just open the bracket take the power 3 and apply it to every single variable and number inside the bracket which is basically 10 power 3 into x cube power 3 into y power 4 power 3. This is 10 power 3 is 1000 x power 9 y power 4 into 3 which is 12. So this is how you simplify it. Next we have p is equals to 2 power 5 into 3 power 3 into 7. q is equals to 540. Find the highest common factor of p and q. So let me just first write this in terms of factors. So 540 can be written as 2 power 2 into 3 power 3 into 5. So in order to find the HCF first, just find whatever common factors you have in each of P and Q. So here you have 2 and 2 here. So take the lowest power of 2. So we're going to take 2 power 2. And then you have 3 again in both the cases. Take the lowest power of 3. Here the power is same in both the cases. So we're just going to stick with 3 square, 3 cube, sorry. And then you have 7 and 5 which are not common so we're not going to take those numbers. So basically your answer is 2 power 2 into 3 power 3 which is 108. So this is how you find the HCF. You take the common factors and the powers are supposed to be the least possible powers out of these two common factors. Next we have find the lowest common multiple which is LCM of P and Q. So this is basically you're going to write the factors of Q again just 2 power 2 into 3 power 3 into 5. So when you're finding the LCM, it's just the opposite. You take the common factors and take the highest possible power and multiply even if the factors are not common. So basically, here you have 2 power 5 and 2 power 2. Out of these two, you're going to consider the highest power, which is 2 power 5. Then you have 3 power 3 in both the cases. So you're going to write it as it is. And then you have 7 and 5, which are not common factors of these two. But still, you're going to be taking both of those numbers into consideration. So you're going to write into 7 into 5. And when you simplify this, you get 30240 as your answer.